right, let's continue the story of Puffy the Dragon. Now, this is the kind of forest, uh, this is part two. In part one, we saw that Puffy the Dragon uh, could not blow fire and miraculously he was cured when they got to wise Mr. Owl in the forest, a forest like this one, when Mr. Owl came down from the tree and sat down and he took Puffy to the river to scrub his teeth until they were gleaming like diamonds and Puffy was then able to blow fire. He still thought he was going to blow smoke but he aimed at a tree over there in the distance and the tree was burned to cinders in seconds because a fierce blue orange reddish flame shot out like a bolt of lightning that's how fierce Puffy's uh, flame blowing skills were and he was so excited so they left the forest and on the way home Puffy told Mama Dragon and Puffa Dragon and he said to them please don't tell anyone that I can blow fire I want them all to still think that I can only blow smoke. So as Puffy uh, uh, arrived back home, all the, when they came out of the forest, all the other dragons came standing around Puffy. They were all excited. They wanted, they were missing Puffy's uh, smoke blowing skills. So they asked him, Please, Puffy, blow, blow some smoke for us. And they said, okay, right, you guys. If you stand all in a neat line next to this river. Of course, the river wasn't like this one. This one has no water in it. But the river there had water in it. And he made them line up on the river bank. And they said, okay, if you all line up along the river bank, I'll blow some smoke circles around all of you to go around all of you down the line. And he said, your tails must face the river. So they put their tails towards the river. And Puffy blew. Goodness gracious me. The people were shocked. They had never seen such a fierce bolt of lightning come out of a dragon's mouth. It wasn't even a flame. It looked more like a bolt of lightning. It struck all of them. Cut the tips off the, all of their tails. And they were screaming in pain. <laughs> so, so Puffy says, okay, you guys, your tails are cut off. It's going to be painful to dip your tails in the water. <laughs> so Puffy uh, made the dragons dip their tails in the water. Oh, and they were also in awe. They were shocked. They couldn't believe that Puffy could blow fire. And such a fierce fire too on top of it. They could not believe their eyes. And... <laughs> <laughs> After that, Puffy became the most fear, feared and the dragon in the land that could blow the fiercest flames that anybody had ever seen. Ah, Puffy was so excited for the first time in his life. He was happy. Well, he was happy the first time he blew fire at the riverside after he had brushed his teeth. And... Then he told the dragons the story. He apologized for putting the tips of their tails, but he said he just wanted them to feel a bit of pain because they made him feel many days of pain when, when they used to tease him. He said, guys, you guys did a very bad thing to me. I was in pain, I was crying every day because you guys were always teasing me that I couldn't blow fire. And now I just wanted to give you a, a bit of a tip. tip of what I felt. But I don't want you guys to go through the same pain that I went through. You said a short searing pain from the tip of your tail being cut off. But luckily I made you stand next to the river so you could dip your, your burning hot tail into the water to cool it off. <laughs> and, and after that Puffy was hailed as the best strongest flame-throwing dragon in, in the land and Puffy was happy for the first time 
he was truly happy. And yes, he was very happy. And that's the end of part two, guys. Look out for part three next time.